Aloha and welcome to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your host, Gwendolyn Harris. I hope every, everyone's new year is going great so far. It has been a few months since I've done my show, but I am back. My guest today is a very special and talented young musician who was born in Kansas City, Missouri. He is a top 10 billboard charting artist, producer, composer, and contemporary jazz bassist. He has been called a musical genius and has been compared to the great musicians, Stanley Clark, Marcus Miller, and Wayman Tisdale. This artist is a graduate of the University of Missouri, Kansas City Conservatory of Music, and is currently touring and playing bass with the amazing saxophonist and flutist Najee. I am so happy to have him here on the show Let's welcome Mr. Blair Bryant to the show. Aloha, Blair. How are you? Aloha. I'm good. How are you? I am well. I am just so excited to have you on the show today. You know, we saw each other back in November at Jazz Legacy, and I told you then, I need you on my show. You remember that? <laughs> I do. I remember that just like yesterday. <laughs> and you are here. Thank I'm you here. again for being here. Let's get yeah. this party started, like I like to say. How did you get your start in music, Blair? Musical genius. Ah, uh, well, I don't know about genius, but <laughs> no, well, um, my mother is um a musician. She's always been in the church and my family is full of musicians. I got uncles that play drums and I got cousins that play bass. So music was just always really in my family. And um, my mother, like I said, she was um, in the church. And my dad at the time couldn't watch me. So I would end up going to church with my mother. So my mm -hmm. mother was always playing. And I just never forget when I was a kid, when I was a baby, actually, I was a really bad baby. I was busy. <laughs> I was all over the place. So I just remember her telling me that the drummer at um, her church at the time, and we lived in Florida during this time, the drummer offered to watch me during service. So he kept, so he would keep me by him during service and he would play the drums and I, he noticed I was interested. So one day, I don't know why, he just decided to give me a drum stick to hit mm -hmm. and with him during service. And when he gave me that drum stick, I started playing the drums with him and I started, I was on beat, I was on rhythm and he noticed it. And he was like, Hey, um, my mom's name is Elisa. So, um, he was like, Lisa, do you see what's going on here? Like your son, your son's got, got something here. You need to invest him in a drum set. So, um, they ended up buying me a drum set when I was like one and a half years old and, started playing it being on pots and pans and and one thing led to another <laughs> they said i used to always make these weird sounds with my mouth and they figured it out that i was making cymbal sounds which is wow really, yeah it's pretty crazy so i i started playing wow. drums at age two by three i could play a full drum set or at least decent enough to keep time and you know, everybody was just amazed by it and led to me picking up other instruments. And here I am today. <laughs> well, Blair, you play how many instruments? I know, but I want you to tell the audience, how many instruments do you play? Um, I counted 21. Um, I think that's mm -hmm. about accurate. Um, yeah, about 21 different instruments. And I'm oh, hoping to learn gosh. more. I want to learn some more. Um, hopefully by next year or, or the end of this year, I'll have another one under my belt. So we'll see how that goes. Wow. You, so you just amaze me. You, you are just so amazing. <laughs> amazing, uh, amazing, I'm amazing. Honored. Now, we're going we're gonna to get into your, 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 disco your discography, okay? Yeah. Um, for those of you that do not know, this young man has four albums out. Am I correct? That's correct. Four? So 2015, you have New Colors. 2016, you have Gold. Yeah. 2018, you have Ceruline Blue. 
thoroughly and really and, yep. yep. And then 2022, which is your latest one, it's entitled Red Tiger. <laughs> Tell us about right. that. It's very interesting how you got the title of that. Tell us about that. About Red Tiger? Yes. Yeah. So Red Tiger um, is actually named after a base that I had made specifically for me by this brand that I'm endorsed by called um, Marco Bass Guitars. And he made this bass for me because, like, red is my favorite color. And mm -hmm. um, I remember when I went out to the NAMM show, um, I stumbled across them and I met the owner and, you know, we just kept in touch. His name is Marco, which he is amazing. He's, he's actually from Brazil, but he lives here now in um near portland oregon but um we ended up talking and i was really impressed with his basses and so i gave him my info and i hit him up a couple weeks later after the nam show was over and i was like hey you know I, I love your instruments i would like to get one made by you i'd like you to make me a bass and so he, he we ended up um getting an endorsement deal and he said i'm gonna make you something real special and <laughs> it's, it's crazy because I told him I wanted a red bass and mm -hmm. it, it was a six string bass, beautiful bass. And when he gave it to me, what he did was it had tiger stripes on the bass and he stained it red over it. So when I got the bass, we decided to call it red tiger because it was, it was it got tiger stripes and it's red. So that's kind of where the name came because I love that bass so much. Uh, I play that bass on all my albums and, and all my work I was doing. That was kind of the bass that I would perform with, go out with. So when people would see me, they would see Red Tiger. So mm -hmm. I decided to dedicate an album to that bass. <clears throat> wow. Now, why don't you tell us on this album, you have some featured artists on this album. Why don't you name who they are? Yeah, so I got Freddie Fox on there. Great guitarist, Grammy Award winning guitarist. Um, he played on Hello Beautiful. I got, of course, I got my man Najee. I mean, you can't do an album and not have Najee on there, right? <laughs> that's, that's my guy. So, um, yeah, I have him on um, a song called Ember Glow. And I also got, um, let me think, who else do I have? Um, Jeez, um, I got this um, saxophonist named Dave Davis. He's out of um, the Connecticut area. He played on Power Up. Um, I also have Donald Hayes, too, on there. And he also played on Ember Glow as well. So, yeah. Wow. Now, we talk about, we talk about Najee. How is that working for Najee? Oh, wow. It's one of the best experiences <clears throat> I've ever had in my life, honestly. Um, there's nobody better I would want to work with other than Najee. I mean, the way that he has just taken me in as one mm -hmm. of his own, um, the lessons that he would teach me, um, the stories he tells me all the time. I mean, he he's really got my best interest. Um, it, it's like anything I want to know, he, he always tells me. Um, our relationship is just it's amazing and it's it's really a, a huge blessing because I remember years ago, um, I would always <coughs> listen to Najee and my dad was a big Najee fan. So that's kind of why I got hip to him because mm -hmm. when I was little, we would always take these road trips and move because my dad was in television. So we was always traveling and stuff. And he will always play Najee, Tokyo Blue, <laughs> Gina, Day by Day. So I was hearing all these songs and I just got a love for it. And I just said one day I want to work with him. I was seven when I said this. I said, I want to work with Najee. And wow, look how God works. Here I am today yes. working with Najee. It's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. That is really crazy. You are truly blessed. Truly yeah. blessed. It's a now, blessing. you work you work with Najee, okay? But 
if you had anybody that you would want to collaborate with, who would that be? Oh, that's a great question. Um, does it matter the genre or? It does not. It does not matter. If well, anybody, who would you want to collaborate with? Well, I definitely want to work with um, Babyface. I love Babyface. <laughs> People tell me I look like him too. I get that like all the time. You do. I do. <laughs> that means a lot. But yeah, definitely <laughs> Babyface. Um, I really want to work with um, Justin Lee Schultz as well. That's another guy mm. that I've grown to really enjoy. I just love how he plays, his style. So I would love to work with him too. Wow. Yeah. And some others now, too, but those are the main two I can think of at this moment. And those are some big people. Those are some heavy yeah. hitters right there. Absolutely. You know? Now, what would you define as the most life-changing event so far in your career? Ooh, um, I don't know. I think I think when Najee called me to come play for, honestly, <laughs> I, I think that would have been the one for me because um, during the time he called, he actually didn't call me. He called my dad, which mm -hmm. was a testament to how great of a man he is. Um, but during the time he called, I was really down because my career wasn't going the way I wanted it to. Um, I couldn't get no traction. I was just at a point where I was like, am I really, am I just wasting my time? Like, maybe I need to do something else. But then I get this phone call from Najee that um, I didn't get the call. My dad got the call. Um, asking if I could come on the road with him. And that was just crazy to me because I always wanted to to work with Najee. And mind you, I already had Najee on my project on Cerulean Blue, Book of Stream uh -huh. which I would probably say that was probably one of the other life-changing moments was when I was able to get him on my album because I always have dreamed of writing for Najee, writing a song for him. Mm -hmm. and doing all these things and so now the fact that i'm getting to do these things with this guy that i grew up just idolizing it's like wow this is this is unreal you are truly blessed i am just amazed at you and you know we <laughs> talked about this when we when i i spoke with you at jazz legacy um back in november how just an amazing musician and individual um you are now, I ask this of all the artists that I interview because it's very important to me. What advice would you give a new artist coming up into the music industry? Absolutely. So I think my advice I will give is don't get discouraged if um, it doesn't happen overnight. It's a really slow process, especially in this genre, smooth jazz. Um, you know, I'm still trying to climb. You know, I'm dealing with people that's been in, you know, this genre for over 30 years. And of course, you know, people are always going to flock to them more than they would someone like myself that's brand new. But what I tell people is don't get discouraged. Keep going. There's always people that want to hear your music. Um, it don't matter if it's 30 people. It don't matter. It don't matter if it's one person. Just keep going because there is somebody out there that wants to hear your music and you're going to be a blessing to them and it's just important to stay in the race just don't give up now with that being said and and listening to music can you give us just a little bit of snippet of what you do what people whenever they come to see you because <laughs> you just you just amaze me when you're on stage <laughs> i'll try i'll, I'll see what just i can do <laughs> Thank you. 
see now everyone that's just a little bit of snippet now he does more than that when he's on stage so that means you have to go find out where he is and 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 listen to him but blair before we we're going to close out here shortly but there is a question that i that you know i follow you on facebook of course <laughs> and you are deemed mr leggings <laughs> I sure am. Because <laughs> every time we see you, you are in a pair of leggings. That is right. I love my <laughs> leggings. <laughs> you got that right. What, what is it that you what is it that you like about them or love about them, Blair? <laughs> I love everything. You got about different them. colors, all types. You yeah. got you have sequin, you got different ones. Yeah. Yeah, ones? I got I got every color, every print. Um some with diamonds on the side, rhinestones. Um, I think for me, the thing that I just love about leggings the most is pretty much what everybody loves about them. They're really comfy. Um, you know, I like the feeling of not feeling like I'm wearing pants, which is what <laughs> leggings feels like. I'm free. Um, I can express myself through them, um, different prints, different colors, um, different designs that you can't really get on jeans or pants or if you can they're really expensive um i just like how easy they are to wear and you know they they go with mostly everything um can't go wrong with them um and like i said they're just really comfy and yeah um i definitely have ditched my jeans <laughs> i don't think i don't even know when the last time i wore a pair of jeans like it's it's all leggings for me i, I love leggings oh wow Oh wow! And you you rock them. You rock them really well. That that I, I can, try to. That I can say. I still got some now, work to do, but yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm working on it. Now tell us where what are you working on? Any new projects or anything coming out soon? Yeah, so I just got done doing this um, song with D. Lucas coming out. Um, it's called Stay Strong. Mm -hmm. We literally just finished it like a couple weeks ago, and. He's going to be releasing that this spring. So be on the lookout for that. It's called Stay Strong by D. Lucas. And I'm featured on it. And I produced the track. And I'm really excited about the track. It's a nice um, feeling. It's got a nice groove to it. It's very easy listening. It's not too over the top. It's not too complicated. And I think you guys really like this track. So I think that's the next thing I got. I am working on some new stuff for hopefully next year. Um, I'm planning on coming out, um, hopefully with a new single. Um, that's the plan, and a new album too. So, got to get caught back up because, as you know, I'm behind on my albums since COVID <laughs> happened. So, yes, I, I got a yes. lot of good music that I got to give you guys that um, I'm eager to put out. So, hopefully, I'll be coming out here real soon. And we can't wait to hear it. So, you know, why don't you let people know where they can find your music? Yeah. So you can and find, find my, out about you. Absolutely. So you can go to one, my website, which is BlairBryantMusic.net. Um, it's got my bio and it's got where you can get my music. But my music is also available on Apple Music, iTunes, um, Amazon, CD, um, not CD Baby. I take that back because we all know what happened with them. But of course, pretty much anywhere that sells digital music, you can get my music. Um, it's on Deezer, it's on Spotify. Um, I got my own Pandora station, Blair Bryant. So, um, yeah, my music is pretty much everywhere. Um, you can listen to it on YouTube as well. Um, there's a side if you want to buy it or not. Um, so yeah, um, there. Um, you can go to my Facebook, which is um, Blair Prince Bryant. Um. Or my Instagram, which is Blair underscore B R Y, and you can get my music there as well. Um, I got a link that's posted on my website there too. So, yeah, it's available everywhere. Everyone, you need to go get his music because you're gonna love it. You're going to absolutely love it. You know, as I stated in my intro, this gentleman is compared to uh, Wayman Tisdale, Stanley. <laughs> Stan, Stanley, um, Stanley Clark and yes, Marcus Stanley Clark, my favorite so, bass players. <laughs> yes, yes. So, and he's a musical prodigy. So, you know, you gotta, you you, you gotta get his music. <laughs> and so, what you do is you go find out where Najee is playing, and there, and Blair will be right there. 
That's right. right yep. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> I should have said that. You, you're absolutely right. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you so much, Blair, for, for being here. Um, you know, I'm going to do another interview with you. Yeah, you I know. can't wait. I look um, forward to it. But thank you so much. I, I, I've enjoyed you. I enjoy watching you. I enjoy listening to you play. You Aww. are just amazing. Keep doing what you do. Absolutely. Okay. I can't wait to see you again. And hopefully I'll have a really cool pair of leggings for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I always have a cool pair of on. I know. I wish you see pair I'm wearing now. Do. It's it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny, but thank you so much, Blair. I really do appreciate you. Likewise. I appreciate you too. Much love to you. Same here. You take yeah. care, okay? You too. Mahalo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to my viewers, thank you so much for tuning into my show today. I look forward to seeing you in two weeks when I will be interviewing Nils. Until then, aloha and God bless. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.